Welcome back. The objective of this video is to review the unit circle. Listed above are our six trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, and the reciprocals. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant, the reciprocal of cosine is secant, and the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. As you may recall, the sine of some angle is really our y coordinate. You might remember that from Sokotoa as the opposite over the hypotenuse. Our cosine is the x coordinate, and you may remember that as the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. That's supposed to be an a. And the tangent is y over x, or the opposite over the adjacent. So it's important to note that opposite is y and adjacent is x, and we'll take a look at that on the Cartesian plane. And then the reciprocals. The cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so it's just 1 over y, or hypotenuse over opposite. The secant is 1 over x, or hypotenuse over adjacent, and cotangent is x over y. The unit circle is a circle that's imposed on the coordinate plane right on our x and y axes and it's a circle with a radius of one every ordered pair on the unit circle is the ordered pair cosine and sine right we know ordered pairs as x and y but they're also known as cosine and sine and that corresponds with what we saw above where they we said the sine of an angle is y and the cosine of an angle is x. As we saw earlier when we introduced radians, every 30 degrees is pi over 6 radians. We may recall that 100 degrees was equal to pi radians, which means halfway around the unit circle at 180 degrees, we have pi radians, and all the way around the unit circle, we have two pi radians. So every 30 degrees is a pi over 6 radians. Uh, you may want to write that down somewhere, or if you can just count by multiples of 30, we know that 30 is pi over 6, so then 60 would be 2 pi over 6, and 90 would be 3 pi over 6, of course simplified, and we can walk our way around the unit circle. Every 45 degrees is a pi over 4. We know that a 40, at 90 degrees, it's also pi over 2 or 2 pi over 4. So here at 90, we get pi over 2. And the ordered pairs on the unit circle are formed by imposing 30, 60, 90, and a 45, 45, 90 tri right triangles into the unit circle. So let's take a look at the first quadrant. The first triangle here in blue is a 30, 60, 90, so we have a 30 degree reference angle imposed onto the unit circle. Now remember our radius of our circle is 1. If you remember your special right triangles, the hypotenuse of a 30, 60, 90 is the 2x side, so 1 is equal to 2x. Our x side is our side opposite the 30 is 1 half, and the side opposite the 60 is the square root of 3, but now it's the square root of 3 over 2, because our hypotenuse is not two units long, it's just one unit long. So we can see here that we're 1 half high on the y-axis, and we're square root of 3 over 2 out on the x-axis, so this ordered pair here on our 30, 60, 90, our x is square root of 3 over 2, and our y is 1 half. So that ordered pair at that location, square root of 3 over 2, 1 half, also cosine sine. The sine of 30, or the sine of pi over 6, equals 1 half, because that's the y coordinate at that location on the unit circle. 
I strongly, strongly encourage you to memorize this one. Memorize the sine of 30 is one half, and you do that and the rest of the unit circle, and a lot of your trig will fall into place after that because you'll be able to fill in the blanks from what you know. So let's reorient ourselves. Let's do the green one. Let's go ahead and do the 60 degree reference angle here. So we'll do the red one, the 45, 45, 90 last. So we're going to do this one as a 60. So we're taking our 30, 60, 90, and we're just rotating it. Now we know we're coming out a half unit, and our height here is the square root of 3 over 2. Our radius, of course, was still 1. That's not going to change. But the side opposite the 60 is square root of 3 over 2. The side opposite our 30 is 1 half. So that ordered pair here is now 1 half is our x coordinate, and square root of 3 over 2 is our y coordinate. So now we see that the cosine or the x coordinate of 60 degrees is 1 half. So it's really the exact same ordered pairs, but just flipped. And then finally, we'll look at our 45, 45, 90 with a radius of 1. So and we might know that from our 45, 45, 90 days is x, x, and x root 2. So the two sides are equal and rationalized. Those are both the square root of 2 over 2. So the ordered pair for a 45, 45, 90 is square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. So the sine of 45 and the cosine of 45 are the same. Well, and that makes sense that our x and our y are the same because it's an isosceles right triangle. And we can go ahead and fill in our radian measures as well as we walk around the unit circle. So this is 30 degrees, but it is also pi over 6 radians. And the 60 degrees is 2 pi over 6, or really pi over 3 radians. And the 45, 45, 90, or at 45 degrees, that is pi over 4 radians. Now I don't want to leave out my quadrantals, so the ordered pair right here at 0 or at 2 pi is because our radius of our circle is 1, we're 1 unit out, but 0 units high, so that ordered pair is 1, 0. At 90 degrees, our x value is 0 and our y is 1. And at 180 degrees, our x is negative 1 and then 0. This is one unit, but it's one unit to the left, so that's going to be negative 1. And then down here at 270 degrees, that ordered pair is going to be 0 on the x, negative 1 on the y. Okay, so here in the first quadrant, don't we know our x's and y's are both positive? So positive, positive. In the second quadrant, our x's are going to be negative and our y's are positive. This is super important, understanding that and realizing that, because trigonometry is a lot like real estate. The three most important things in real estate are location, location, location. Well, with trig, it's also important. Location, location, location. Where are you? Are you in the first quadrant, the second quadrant, or the third quadrant, or the fourth quadrant? So in the third quadrant, our x's and y's are both negative. And in the fourth quadrant, our x's are positive, And our y's are negative. Well, why is that important? Because if we take our right triangles and we reflect them over into another quadrant, we can see here that if I reflect my 30, 60, 90 over to the second quadrant, well, my triangle stays the same, but my x value is going to change. Now my x is negative, square root of 3 over 2 and my y is still one half.
So my ordered pairs are the same. The only thing that changes is the sign. Same with the 45, 45, 90. Our x will be negative square root of 2 over 2, and our y will be the square root of 2 over 2. So that would be an angle 90 and 45. That would be 135 degrees. This would be um, 150 degrees. And here we have our 120 degrees. So that's going to be the same as a 60 degree, but in the second quadrant. So negative 1 half and square root of 3 over 2. And our radians, you can keep putting your radian measures in. Every multiple of 30, add another pi over 6. So we're at 3 pi over 6. So we're at 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 6 pi over 6. You can add that into your unit circle as you walk your way around. I will let you go ahead and fill in the unit circle. The rest of that, you should be able to do that based on what we have. Remember, we reflected over the y-axis. Well, we'll also be able to reflect over the x-axis. But your ordered pairs, they're going to stay the same. The only thing that's going to change is the signs on those. Also remember that tangent is y over x, so that is the sine over the cosine. And cotangent is x over y, so that's the cosine over the sine or your x over your y. Sine is y over the x. Those values are also on your unit circle. So we could say, well, what is the tangent of 60 degrees? Well, the tangent of 60 degrees is the y over the x. We only have to grab our numerators here because our denominators are the same. They're going to cancel. So it's just the square root of 3 over 1. So simple, right there on your unit circle. So that wraps up our review of the unit circle, and we'll get a lot more practice with this when I see you in class.